Welcome everybody to the live stream for the Minnesota Golden Gophers baseball. I hope everybody is doing well today. We go and face the Tennessee Vols. All right, the audio is working good. Just wanted to do a quick little test on that. Go take a look at Tennessee's overall record. Happy draft day number two with draft day number three being tomorrow. Uh, the NFL draft has been quite interesting. My Minnesota Vikings keep trading down because apparently having 13 picks on day three is a smart idea when you could just use the draft capital that you have to move up in the draft and get a bona fide star. Now there's a couple players left later in the rounds that I hope we get and with the more picks that we have, I'm praying that's where we go, but I'm not holding my breath because the Vikings don't call me and ask me for my personal opinion. So, nor do I blame them. I would have told them not to go with Treadwell years ago and there is a YouTube video of me freaking out about them taking them uh, tried well early so yeah either way to get back to baseball the Golden Gophers go to Tennessee the Tennessee Vols have definitely ramped it back up here look at this four straight wins one two three four five six seven games they've won six of the last seven unbelievable so we looked at Tennessee a little bit back, and we we're like, oh, they're not looking very good. Um, this could be an easy sweep, a four-game sweep. And just like that, the snap of your fingers, it's changed. And here in the Central, or sorry, the East, we are only a half game ahead of the Illini and the Buckeyes. Two games ahead of Wisconsin. And if you remember, we actually dropped a few to Wisconsin early this year. So game one we lost, and then game three we lost. The rubber match. That's when this stream started to take off. This whole series, I don't have a ton of viewers, but it's enough to make me happy with life. If I can even entertain one of you out there on a consistent basis, life is good for me. Let's see, we got BRM Gaming going live right now at the same time. So, suspecting nobody will join the chat, but you never know. Ten and eleven, Tennessee goes up against thirteen and nine, Minnesota, who's been equally hot. The Golden Gophers been a ton of fun to play with, especially considering we did not start out well to the season, which has made it just that much more interesting. Quite honestly, now we have a little bit of tired and fatigued players on our team. As I pushed players through to get the sweep, made sure that we had our best players out there, wanted to make sure that we at least got one sweep here early in the year. We're going to make sure that Lucas Dunn hits center field. He's got a little bit more speed than Orente. So Levy's even getting tired. The heroics from games two and three. So he will be replaced by Borden for this game. Benalis will probably play for Metzinger. Henry Davis definitely going to get a day off from Nino Gonzalez. Ben Bianco has certainly got to get a day off. That's right, there's Wigman. And Poland probably could use a day, but he won't get one today. Just the reality of the infield situation. Third base, Metzinger, yep. So, there it is. Now we're just going to adjust this around a little bit. I want Orente in for Britain. Britain has played terrible as of late.
All right, in Tennessee, I love their stadium. I love the stadium setup. We got a little bit of a uh, cloudy day here in Tennessee. Good matchup in store between the Glory and the Volunteers. Number 19 is a man on a mission as he tries to bring his hitting streak to 20 games. Next. A 20 game hitting streak as it stands right now, 19. That is insane. Today, the Golden Gophers take Jake Eder. I hope I'm saying that right. 0 for 2 record, 3.47 ERA. 19 Ks and 8 walks. You guys hear an at t logo sounding up. I'm sorry. Trying to make sure that I got a Bomba Siren ready and usable. While his hitting streak might be drawing most of the attention, some might not realize he's hitting for real power as well. Slugging over so Lucas Dunn batting at 231. Lefty versus righty matchup. Ah. He came inside. I was right about going just a little bit low, but... So easy fly out to start the game for the Bulls. I love those orange jerseys, the white pants, the orange hats with the white bill. Easily one of my favorite Stepping uniforms that I made box. in the game. Get his first opportunity in this one. Oh, Borden looks at ball one. Fellas, you take a look at our home standing ball club as they come into this one tonight. They're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. Hey, thanks, man. If you hate Devo, we've got a couple of teams playing some good baseball right now. Unfortunately, the winning streak... And a check swing by Borden. 2-0 account. I'm excited to call this one with you two guys, definitely. The two teams playing top of their game right now. Really playing well. Both come in on winning And that catches the zone. Strike one. And we'll see some 40s before things are said and done tonight. Right now, 51 degrees at first pitch. 51 degree day in Tennessee. Ah, guessing low. Stayed in the middle of the zone. That one went a little bit low. Easy ground to the second. Over to first. Levi Usher now up to bat for the Golden Gophers. And the swing and a miss. Batting a 4-14. And an easy ball there. Easy take. Behind the plate is Woody Keller. Inconsistent strike zone. You never like to hear that, folks. That's for sure. Oh my God! Wow, just like that. The Golden Gophers get their first home run of the game. Unexpected. I know Usher's a good contact hitter. I know he has a few homers on the game, or in the season, sorry. But, Rente looks at ball one. Nice catch by the center fielder. For the Golden Gopher, strike for one. It's the right fielder, Levi Usher. Going yard. Bottom of the first coming up, Minnesota. 
up come the Vols. What can they get cooking at home for this first of four against the Golden Gophers? Luke Smith takes the mound with a 4.67 ERA and 25 hits, 17 and a third innings with 17 Ks. Make that 26 hits. Trying to go off speed early, get Tennessee out in front of it. Maybe get an easy ground ball. Not such the case. That kind of just floated in the middle of the zone a little bit. He's got a 97 mile power cut fast. Wow. Hopefully with that sidearm action, we get a lot of players guessing. Swing and a miss. Harrison Ray having a decent season, batting a 3-0-3. Climbs the ladder, gets him swinging. 96 mile power cutter. Steer Reich, you're out. That's the first K of the game for Luke Smith. All right. The pitch, and that's a ball to Austin Martin. Martin on the year, 303 average, 17 ribbies with four dingers. And that's a strike. And the attempted steal is safe. Wow. Is that Borden who dropped it? I think so. It's either Borden or Poland. Looked like Poland. And the base hit to right field. They get it in quickly. No runs there. One out, man on the corners. And a tailor-made double play for the Golden Gophers. One pitch, and they ring him up. It's a 1-6. No, sorry, 3-6-1, I'm pretty sure. Or 3-6-3. Three, three. I couldn't figure out who was uh, on first. Nino Gonzalez first up to bat. That's a strike. And that's a out. Easy out. I didn't know if that was going to squeak through or not. Alex Benalas up to bat, batting a 353 of four dingers. Seems to be quite the theme of four home runs in this game. Coming into it, I should say, at least. I'd be grateful if we could get four home runs for the Gophers today. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. This is pulled in. And that's hit well to right. But caught. Plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two guns. The first Drew and here comes Drew Wigman, batting at 333 in the early part of his season. He's only made a few appearances. And up the middle, the shortstop gets it, throws over to first, and he stays on the bag for the out. Nice job by Tennessee, Duval, Keegan, and Thomas up to bat next for the Vols. Delivery 
Batting at 203, swing and a miss, strike one. And strike two, looking. I'm surprised. He's got that nice military haircut, like the fade on the sides. Nice flat top. Luke Smith looking professional out on the mound. Doing business. Strike three. Rears back. That looks like a 98 mile per hour cutter. Oh, he was so far underneath it too. In on the hands, climb the ladder. Difficult to catch up to. Underneath and behind. And ball. Dominic Keegan batting a 293 coming into this one. This is Minnesota's first time seeing Tennessee on the year. Keegan on a little bit of a hot streak in the last three games, seven ribbies. That's another ball. And fall. Bases are empty, one man. Charge. I miss baseball. That's for sure. 3-2 account. And fouled off. He didn't have to swing there. He would have had a free base. 3-2 pitch. That one's a free base, though. Thought maybe he'd swing at that one. Brady versus Brady matchup. Swing and a miss. On the slider. Isaiah Thomas, no relation to the basketball player. Oh, down the line. Relays it back in just in time. Great hit by Thomas. Putting it right down the third base line. Turns those hips, gets good contact. Third baseman had no shot. Beautiful view. Love it. Obviously hate that they got the hit against us, but sometimes you appreciate good hitting and good camera work. Down the line. Got there. Wow. I mean, uh, yeah, you give up a run with that, but... Oh, good. Is what it will be. He caught it, got the out. And here comes the pitcher. Ball one. Ball two. That's a strike. If he's having a hard time throwing strikes to the pitcher, might as well let him work himself out. Wow. There we go, full count. Wow, walk the pitcher. Getting too cute, I guess. Missed my spot there. Cooper Davis knocked the bat. Ground to the short, over to second. And so one run comes in for the Vols. A sack fly situation down the right field line. Caught in foul territory. Poland, Smith, and Dunup to bat for the Golden Gophers. Jared Poland up to bat. Batting at 264. He's on a hot streak right now, ladies and gentlemen, in the last five games. Three runs scored. Hitting very well. Good ball being played by him. Oh, ball. It's 
So Mississippi State destroys Illinois. That's good to know. Because if we get the win here and if Ohio State lost, we pull ahead by just a little bit more. But if we lose, it's not the end of the world. Arkansas winning over Wisconsin. That's good for us for sure. Two to account. Hit well, but practically right to the center fielder. Georgia Tech, Mississippi State, Tennessee, Virginia, and then Boston College at the bottom. So striding in, Luke Smith. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. That's a ball. I mean, if they're going to try to get too cute like me, you might as well just let them keep pitching. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Hit well by Smith. And an out. In his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Now the play, Lucas Stun. He flew out in his last day. Pitch on its way. Down up to bat, strike one. Playing up the middle in center field in this one, although he is most often considered a left fielder. Ah. Expecting that one to drop out a little bit more, but it didn't. And another ball. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So did he go back out there again? <sighs> no, Matt. I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call and another the same foul. location over and over and over. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over no, the heart of the, the plate. Ball. Not going to see too many of those Playing today. Two balls, two balls two and two strikes now. Two to account, two out, no on for the Golden Gophers. Two, two. Lucas down up to bat. He's taken high, but for a call, oh, three. check swing. They're going to call it strike three anyway. What can you do? Harrison Ray now up to bat for Tennessee. Hit well, back up the middle. That's a Bulls hit to open it up. Ball. Not sure where, but a ball. In the dirt here, and the runner will stay put, but the count moves to two and oh. On the belt, kicks and deals. Back up the middle again. Man. Not going well for Minnesota. Here in the bottom of the third. Two hits, both back up the middle. That's gone. And so Tennessee takes the lead four to one. Ooh, went down and got it. Tennessee turning into more of a competent team, a very contending team, 10 and 11, winning a lot of games recently. And the throw from third in the shift got him. Dominic Keegan walked earlier in the game, now up to bat. Jeez Louise, hit into the gap. Second with a one-out double. 
Well, man, as we take a look at his line here, you might not That's Dominic Keegan's fourth double of the year. Sometimes it happens. You start a game and never completely get into that rhythm. Seems to be the case here. And a ball. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. There's a strike. One ball. It's one and two now. That's a tough curveball right there to stay into. Wow. They're going to call that another ball. Slice to first. Got it. And the tag. Damn. Two down. Gophers hoping to get out of this inning. Get their Bomba squad back up to bat. Maybe he can get a three run homer of their own. Knowing this team probably going to be three solo shots. Two of them will be back to back and then one of them will come in a couple of innings. Just knowing how this team goes. Not that we haven't hit three run homers. They just don't come a lot. So Nico, or sorry, Nino is trying to calm down Luke Smith. Three straight balls. Pitcher trying to do anything. Nibbling those sides of the zone. Trying not to come up in the zone too much. There he comes up a little bit. Swinging this on the cut fastball. It's not that the hitter was too far underneath it. He was just behind. And the changeup. Foul ball. Batting a 247 is Parker Nolan. The pitch hit pretty much right to the left fielder. Shades underneath it. And Tennessee takes a three-run lead in the inning with Robert Hassel's long ball. There's a beauty of a home run. Tim Borden out the bat. Mm. Guessing low, a little bit early, but just mainly underneath it. Now over it. Yep. Guessing wrong. Good job by the pitcher. Hit well to right, but out. Wigman up next. Nope, Levi Usher's up to that. Solo home run in the first. Use another one of those, that's for sure. Strike one. No, stop. Just YouTube being YouTube. Going deep. Out at the warning track. And Danny Arente now up to bat for Minnesota. Here comes the first pitch. Well Hit well. Into the, into the gap. There we go. That's going to be at least a double. A stand-up double for Minnesota. Can they take advantage with a bomba? Danny Arente with his fifth double of the year. Extends his hitting streak to 10 games. Now in comes Nino Gonzalez. He hits as a power type hitter against lefties only. Can he muscle one over the fences? And that's a ball. One oh count. That's a strike. Just looking at that one. Get to short, over to first, and down goes the Gophers. So middle of the fourth, Tennessee has seven hits on the game, Minnesota has two. That's the biggest discrepancy between the two teams. Oh my goodness. There we go. And that's a strike. Strike 
strike three. Cooper Davis now up to bat. One for two on the day. Strike one. standpoint today coming into this one is they were going to work the counts they've been super patient at the plate in the early goings of this game and they are still able to get it after Smith was unable to recover it cleanly the throw out at first two down Harrison Ray now up to bat digging in once again Harrison Ray he singled his last time hit out towards second ooh and that gets through in the center field the base hit Oh, they're going to say he was safe. Put a little extra mustard on that one. There's strike three. Alex Benalis now up to bat for Minnesota. Hit well to right. Oh my. Hit well, but as we say a lot, not well enough. The right fielder able to shade underneath it. Easy out for the Vols. Now up to bat for the Golden Gophers. Drew Wigman. Got called up from JV earlier this year, kind of as a spot hitter, switch hitter, and a power hitter. A nice combination. Hit well. Over to first. Easy out. Some games just go this way. It's frustrating. Most of the game, you're not able to make good contact, well enough contact to get it in the gappers. But it happens. That's baseball. We had a game like that. I think it was against Oregon State. And then in the sixth inning, we had, what, six runs? I'm pretty sure. I'm sure Bomba Squad will get in the comments after the stream and correct me on that one. But I think it was six runs in the sixth. Ranging into the outfield. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Next will be the cleanup hitter, number 19. Or one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And a great snag by pulling over at second. Settling in now. Right down the middle. Wow. Now an off speed pitch that nearly ran in and got him. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. Jams him up. Pulling. He's out. Down to Keegan up to that. So when the Gophers get out of this half inning. They're looking to have an Oregon State-like sixth inning replicate that on, foul ball. Change up all the way. And it falls in at right. And safe at first. Ooh. Yeah. Nice catch by Poland. Nice pitch by Smith. And the Golden Gophers get out of this one. Going to the top of the sixth. Can they get some hits? In general, anything. Luke Smith. Coach wants him done. All right, let's see. 
I'd be okay bringing in Bianco for an at-bat bullpen. Mostly healthy. Shane Harris will warm up. And the ball. Rounder, wow. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now back. In now, Lucas Stun. Ready, here's the first offering. Underneath the curveball and a little bit late for Dunn. Hard hit ball to second. Wow. Still not able to get hits. Good contact, good timing. Still not playing. Maybe we can get a two out rally going here. But this is going to get foul. Sixth inning, four to one is our score. Ball, fastball, pretty close that time, but rule the ball, one and one. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like he would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here, middle of the order, guys coming up. And an easy grounder to short over to first. Not good. Not a good game for the Gophers. Nolan, Edder, and Davis up to bat for the Vols. In comes Shane Harris. He's had five appearances, nine innings, and has definitely done better against righties over lefties. He does have too many walks for my comfort, though. As I say that, he starts with the ball. I don't think that was meant for over the middle, but... Looked at for strike one. And the fly to left. Easy out. They're going to keep Adderin for the next inning as they have him hitting here. They realize we got the lead, why burn the pen? And why burn the bench with the hitters that you have on there? So if I made a miraculous comeback, their hitters are still fresh. Over the first, easy out. Cooper Davis up to bat now. Singled in the first. Strike one. Looks at it. And a blooper. Oh my heavens. Oh my triple heavens. What the heck was that? Wow. That's like one of those ultimate face palm moments. Oh. Strike. There we go. Needed that. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Count two balls in, and they get right back outside. Grounder to third. Over to first. No runs for the Vols. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors in one man. Beautiful stadium this is. Seventh inning coming up. Very unique. Here comes Usher up to bat, Levi Usher. One for two with the Bamba. Hit well to center, but what? not well enough, clearly. Easy out. It's only 390 to center, too. Danny Arente up to bat. 
And finally a base hit. Takes a stroke of luck, but it's a base hit. Here in the top of the seven. That's the Gophers, I believe, third hit on the game. Digging in, Nino Gonzalez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And swing and a miss on the 12 6 curve. There's the manager. Cannot be pleased with this performance by the Golden Gophers. We don't get crushed a lot, but. I wouldn't call it refreshing. This is not fun. In a way, it's refreshing to know that I can get boat race. So, like, I feel a little bit more proud of myself that I've played well recently. But this is no fun. But it can change on a dime. All it takes is one pitch. Did I just say one pitch? Wow. So Nino Gonzalez gets his first career home run, and it couldn't have come at a better time as he goes 425 to left over the water fountain. Alex Benales 0 for 2 now up to bat. And just like that, the Golden Gophers are only down by one. It's crazy how fast things can change in baseball. Hit right to the right fielder. Drew Wigman now up to bat. He's got two ground outs. Made very good contact on both of them. Not much you can do to fault him. It's great defense. Looks at strike one. Looks like he's got a good feel for that two seam fastball this far into the game. He's used it really effectively tonight. Swinging straight two. Swing and a miss on the 12 6 curve. I'd like to see a little choking poke right here. Maybe work it up the middle. Oh my god. That one is an error. Are you kidding me? Over the first baseman's head, E2 on the catcher. Wow, a swinging third strike, and he gets on base. A unique jacket for the coach. I like it. And here comes Eric Kayser. Ten appearances, 5.73 ERA, and has really struggled against righties, despite being a righty pitcher. Pollen up to bat. Ooh, Pollen wanted a piece of him. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy. That's a ball. One ball, one strike to count. One, one. Oh. My heavens. to saw this inning coming as that goes left field over the waterfall again that error by the catcher so costly at this point Good job 
and Levy now warming up. Unbelievably costly. That gives up the lead. Hit well by Levy. And that's a double for Justin Levy. Wow. This game turns on a dime. Lucas Dunn now up to bat, 0 for 3. Definitely not his day to this point, but it hasn't been any of the golfers' day to this point. Tell us anything, so we'll see. So that slider was left dead center. Can't do that. Doolin Melando, how the hell do you say his name? Mel Donado? Mel Donado. Pitching. Warming up at least. Fascinating. Way inside with that one, pretty easy take there. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted up. Hit well. Ooh, great catch. So that will end the inning. Minnesota strikes for four, takes the lead. Martin Haslin Duval. Up to bat next for Tennessee. Stretch time here at the ballpark. Minnesota is out in front here, five to four. Your Alvin gets the call from the pen to take over on the Albanese up to pitch now for the Gophers. Leading off the inning, August Martin. Austin Martin, two for three on the day. Strike one. Go to pitch. Not the ball. And that just shows the resilience that this team has. No game. They're ever too far out of it. Anything can really happen. Let's just say it's fair to say a three-run lead against the Gophers is not safe. Even if you've held them to two hits prior in the entire game. Albanese gets his first K of the day. That's a ball. And a foul. Grounder second, over to first, and that's out. Into the box now. He gets with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Matt, this has been a big hitting on the mound. Grounder first, pitcher covers. And that's the side. No runs for the Bulls as Minnesota holds on to the one run lead that they newly acquired. Board and Usher and Arente up to bat. Borden trying to stay off the schneid from going 0 for 4. Fixing his shoe, grabs the bat. Here we go. And tonight's attendance here in Tennessee, 6,256. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts Week night. to warm up, the ball starts Can't blame him for not this. coming out in droves. He's the out. Really Levi Usher. His only hit was in the first. That was a solo shot. Trying to at least improve his batting average on the season. Looking for a hit here. 
That's a ball. As it stands right now, the betting average would go down after this game. Hit well. That's deep to right. Not deep enough. Danny Rente having a really good day though. Two for three, a double, a single. If he gets enough at bats, he could go for the cycle. Hits the tarp, foul ball. Another foul ball. Good job by Arente fighting him off. And that is gone, folks. Just like that. I think that's four home runs on the game for the Golden Gophers now. I said I'd like four home runs and I got my wish. Michael Doolin. If we get more viewers, might have a guess the home run contest for a stream that has quite a bit of viewers. Have like a special cash prize, like a gift card or something like that. Nino Gonzalez in this game got his first ever home run. And that pretty much started all this. I said it could change with one at bat or one pitch and he changed the game. Within the last nine batters, the Gophers took the lead from the Vols and then even extended it by a run. Count with Benalis up to like bat next. Really so I don't know if Nino's the guy I'd want to be nitpicking here. Ah, right down the middle, definitely not swinging at that one. Got the, the red light. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. Three Possibly getting the green light here, though. Yep. Base hit in the right. He was behind it, but. And it just chips it right into the right field uh, over the first baseman's head. Nothing any fielder could have done. And here comes Benalis. Adding over 300 on the season, but 0 for 3 today. Never mind. Oh my, spoke too soon. That's a foul ball. Oh my. Disappointment on the face of Benalis. Can you blame him though? That's hit well. That's possibly a gapper. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Thrown out at third though. Nope. Safe. Wow. Wildly big mistake by Tennessee there. Base running miscommunication, I suppose you could call it. And they're going to walk Wigman. Even though he's 0 for 3, switching sides of the plate, they're going to walk him. Bases are juiced for the Gophers here in the top of the 8th inning with two outs for Jared Poland. Alright, let's see if we have anybody better right now. Nope. Base is juiced. Ball. 
you know if we had any lefties sitting out there besides Leonard. Leonard's not a power hitter. With the opportunity to bust this game wide open on Tennessee. They had a big lead, a three-run lead. Held us to two hits for most of the game. That's hit well. But out. All right. So the Gophers get one run. Keegan, Thomas, and Nolan up to bat for Tennessee. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The glory around in front here, six to four. Albanese staying in to pitch at least for now. We got a man warming up in the pen. Hopefully we won't need him. O2 account. Oh my, that missed, but I'm not sure where. And neither does Albanese. Had a word for the umpire. Fouled off. And up the middle, base hit for Tennessee. I appreciate the two people watching. Make sure you leave a like, and if you enjoy the content, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I'm streaming. I stream about once a day. And that's a ball. That's a strike. Ooh, fouled off. Strike three down looking. Backwards K for the Golden Gophers. That's a strike. to account and it's a ball strike three down looking backwards K again back to back for Albans Carter Young the pinch hitter 302 betting average on the season four ribbies That's a strike, at least. And strike two, looking at that one. Three balls, two strikes. Hit well, the right fielder drifts under it. We are going in the ninth inning, ladies and gentlemen. Golden Gophers with a two-run lead. Hillbuck comes in, six appearances, 4.5 ERA. Metzinger up to bat now. Ooh, ahead of that one, but he got all of it. Foul ball. Looking to add some insurance runs. 
out ahead of the curveball. Two righties up for Tennessee in the pen. Mississippi State takes the win over Illinois as I highlighted earlier. Huge for us. Illinois is a half game behind us. Or should I say was if we get the win. Lucas down up to bat. Hit well. Not well enough though. Tim Borden out to bat. Had the ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. That's five for strike one. One one. Gotta love those high pitches when they're coming in. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Two one. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher you're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up. Swing and a miss. That retires. All right, so Tennessee sets down Minnesota. Two run lead for the Gophers going into the bottom of the ninth. Sam Hillbach doing some work. Michael Kieran comes in. Five appearances, 6.1 innings. Not very good, but looking to get the save here. With our closer being a little bit fatigued. In a four-game series, might as well give him the day off tonight. Might prove costly. We'll see. 1-0 account to start. That's a strike some way, somehow. I'll take it. Ooh, the bunt. Can they get him? Nope. A great bunt for Tennessee. Game time run now up to bat, and it's Harrison Ray who has two singles on the day. Strike. Oh my, got him! Got him! Are you freaking kidding me? A 6 4 3 double play for the Golden Gophers. The slide right here by Borden, the flip to Poland, and the chuck over. Wow. What a play by the Golden Gophers defense. Martin now up to bat. Can the Gophers slam the door and get the victory? The grounder up the middle. Safe. too slow of a grounder game time run up to bat it's Robert Hassel wow I'm going to call that a ball he had the three run dinger early in the game that was his only hit to this point Two one account now. Two run game last of the night with two away. Good hit. Ooh, strike two. Two run lead for the Gophers. Two outs, two two account, one on, bottom of the ninth. Michael Kieran, the pitch. Laced foul. Strike three. Good night. Gophers get the victory.
Gotta start somewhere. A 6-4 finish in tonight's affair. Minnesota jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Thanks to win out of the 10, his first. Michael Curry earns the save out of the bullpen, his first of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. Michael Rosas and Cruz Rock and Howdy Rocky. This is Matt Rasters. And you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter. Everybody, thank you for watching. Good night.